This sponsored tutorial is part four of our five part hosting series. The full playlist is linked to in the description down below if you want to check out all the videos in this playlist. This one specifically is about adding SSL certificates to your website to make sure that you take advantage of better Google rankings, better website credibility, and better website security. So this tutorial is quite important. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To add an SSL to any website in Hostinger, click on Setup if you have this notification here. If you don't see this notification, click on the SSL tab up here. And we have an entry here for setting up our SSL. We have pending data entry, meaning we have to add information. Click on setup to do that. Install SSL certificate on which website? This one. There is likely going to be a drop down here if you have more than one. Click on install SSL. Your SSL is being installed. This is a Let's Encrypt SSL. You can close this meta box at any time. And just like that, we have a lifetime SSL from Let's Encrypt installed. It expires, never, created on this date, which is today, just now, and it is free. Let's Encrypt is free. Let's Encrypt is not as secure as a paid SSL. So if you're accepting payments directly on your website, you might want to go with a paid SSL, but Let's Encrypt is just fine for improving your SEO, for improving your website credibility, and for improving your regular everyday website security. But if you want more protection, if you're processing payments, more protection from fraud, you should be getting a paid SSL. And you can Google it. There's a lot of information about it, why Let's Encrypt is not quite as strong as the paid options. But Let's Encrypt is just fine for 90% of the population that's not accepting payments directly on their site. When I mean directly on your site, if someone clicks a link to order something from you and they go to PayPal to pay for it, that's not on your site, that's on PayPal. But if you have something like WooCommerce installed and you're accepting payments directly on your site, people are not being forwarded to a different website, that means they're accepting payments directly on your site. Let's Encrypt should be okay, but if you ever get into legal trouble with fraud, the better SSLs provide more protection from what I understand. You're gonna to have to do your research on that specifically. I don't know exactly what the differences are, but I do know the paid ones provide more protection if something goes wrong. We also have HTTPS automatically forced on our site. If you want to unforce it, click on this button here. If you want to uninstall your SSL, you can click this button here. So let's go to our website and see our SSL in action. Might not be applied just yet because sometimes it takes some time, but we'll go there anyway and see what happens. We have our padlock. So our SSL is active. We can click on here. It shows information about the SSL. So that's great. SSL installed. And if you have more than one website, you'll see all your SSLs listed here. If you have SSLs, specific different SSLs on your subdomains, you see them listed here as well. Click on go for it. It'll take you down here. Review all the material compared to other hosting plans. You'll find that hosting or hosting is a really, really good deal for everything that you get. If you compare it to, say, SiteGround, for example. SiteGround is great hosting, but it's also much more expensive than Hostinger. And here's a prime example. For the single website hosting plan on Hostinger, it is $1.39 a month when it's on sale. When it's on sale at SiteGround, it's $3.99. When it's not on sale at Hostinger, when you renew, that's when you get the renewal price, which is $2.99 a month. At SiteGround, it's $15 a month. So it's way cheaper. You also get three times the storage space. The same approximate number of monthly visitors. You get a free SSL just like everywhere else. Probably a Let's Encrypt SSL. Yeah, Let's Encrypt. You don't get the free domain or the free ads credit. That's fine. 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, managed WordPress, WordPress acceleration, two databases. I guess one would be for a staging site. If you have one website, you have the, the production site and the staging site, so you get two databases for that. Although when you use plugins like WP Vivid, you can do both of those just in one database. And then when you get up to the higher plans, the differences get even greater. For example, here are the business shared hosting, 100 websites. On SiteGrounds, unlimited for their biggest plan. 200 gigabytes of storage, SiteGround 40. Approximately one... 100,000 monthly visits, that's not very many. SiteGround's 400 for that level. And you get free email, free SSL, free domain, Google Ads credit, probably 150, doesn't say. Unlimited bandwidth, managed WordPress, uh, doesn't mention how many databases, unlimited databases right there. Unlimited databases, 
But 100 websites is more or less unlimited. There aren't very many people that have more than 100 websites. And when it's on sale, this plan is four bucks a month. On sale on SiteGround, it's 10.69 a month. When it renews, when it's not on sale, this plan's nine bucks a month on Hostinger and $40 a month on SiteGround. There's even more features. Click on here, see more features roll out. Feel free to come here and check these out and compare it to other hosting, but you'll find Hostinger is great hosting and it's a really good deal. It's very affordable. So once you're ready to check out, click on go for it like I did already, select the one you want. Let's choose the biggest plan. I'm gonna choose 48 months because that's when you save the most because the you get the regular price when it renews. So it renews at $8.99 a month in 2025 if you choose 48 months. You save 75%. Each plan you'll save, but you'll save less. So pick the one that's right for you. You do have to pay the whole amount at once, so the total will be $191, but then you have 48 months of hosting done. That's four years. That's pretty awesome. You can pay with credit card, PayPal, and what you rarely see, cryptocurrency, CoinGate. You can pay with any anyone they support. It looks like Bitcoin, and I don't even know what they all are, but there's a whole bunch listed right here in these little icons, so I'm sure they support a lot of different cryptocurrencies. And if you're here when it's not the Black Friday sale, even when it is, actually, come down to the coupon, have a coupon code, and paste in WP Learning Lab, all capitals. I haven't tested whether it works on lowercase, but all capitals works. Click on plus and watch this price. The Black Friday sale gets you 191.52 over 48 months. Use this coupon that I negotiated for you guys. It's down to 178. So this coupon is even cheaper than the Black Friday sale. And it applies to every yearly plan. Maybe every plan, not this one. So it's every yearly plan. You gotta go 12 months, 24 months, 48 months, and you get the savings from that coupon. And when it's not Black Friday, this is still the price you get even when it's not Black Friday. And when it is Black Friday, you actually get it cheaper by using the coupon code. So make sure you apply the coupon code. It's down in the description down below in case throughout this video you forget what it is. WP Learning Lab. Just pop it right in there and get a giant discount. And then you choose how you want to pay, you fill out your info, and you're in. Next up, check out the entire Hostinger playlist. It's linked to right over here, where I have all the Hostinger videos in this series. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I'll see you in the next video.